This ski school lesson brought to you by Hakaba Snow Sports School. In this lesson today, guys, we're going to look at side slipping. Side slipping is an essential skill to be able to tackle all sorts of situations, moguls, steeps, bumps, and powder. Side slipping is an essential skill you need to learn to move from being an intermediate to an advanced skier. Side slipping is a skill we use in all different situations steeps, moguls, ice, powder, terrain park. If you can't side slip properly, the odds are you're not going to be able to get in these sort of situations. Okay, let's look at how we side slip. Side slipping is quite difficult for most people because we have to learn to let go of our edges. Our edges are our safety. That's what gives us grip on the snow. And right from day one where you learn to use a pizza to slow down, to using turns to slow down, you've always been using your edges and trying to dig your edges into the snow. However, to get to this more advanced stage, we need to learn to ride flat skis and let our edges go. So a side slip basically is letting your edges go. So now I can move sideways down a mountain. The key points to side slipping, number one, is you must keep your upper body aligned to the slope you're on. Your hands, your shoulders, your hips, your knees, your boots, and your ski tips should all be in the same line, equidistant from each other, true to the slope. If you drop your uphill hand or uphill shoulder, or if you're standing upright to gravity, you're gonna find that your center of mass is more up the hill from you or up on this uphill ski, and you won't be able to release these edges. It becomes very difficult to let those edges go and make your skis flat. If I bring my hands and shoulders true to the slope I'm standing on, almost mirroring what my ski tips are doing, then it becomes very easy to just let those edges go and side slip. The next point or the next checkpoint you want for good side slipping is make sure you keep your skis directly across the hill, perpendicular to the pull of gravity or to the fall line, and have be able to side slip with your ski boots going in a straight line down the hill. We should be able to side slip in a corridor only as wide as our skis. When you can do that, you're gonna find that you can go in all sorts of different situations. For more great ski and snowboard lessons, visit the snowshow.tv forward slash ski school.